Now, for all you motherfuckers that been rating on the review, it's here. We gotta talk about this shit, because Tyreek, I don't know what the fuck your ass be on. You're not ghost. You will never be your dad, nigga. And I said what the fuck I said. I don't give a fuck who get mad. Ghost move way fucking smarter. I said what I said. Anyway, we finna talk about this episode, this part two. We finna talk about it. Because these kids, man, I'm telling you, it be the hands that fucking feed you. It be the fucking hands that you feed. I'm trying to tell you. You gotta, woo, woo. Y'all know where I'm coming from. But anyway, we're going to talk about it. Be here. Mr. Mass TV. Hit that like button. Let's get it. So, before I even fucking start off with this episode, man, I just want to say, what the fuck is really going on? Like, <laughs> anyway, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just take a gander. Okay. Bright lights, city lights, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. Yeah. I just happen to come apart. Illegal or illegal, baby. I gotta make it. I never take a snip no, nowhere. A two to the base of turns. Lucy roots as I really by learn. I'm from the skyscraper. Hold on, hold on. Y'all know that. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Y'all don't mind me. I'm just vibing. I ain't. But anyway, I have to do the intro. Y'all know I'm goofy. Goofy ass nigga sometimes. Okay, sometimes I'm a goofy goober. Okay, can't happen. Anyway, well, let's continue. Anyway, this episode took me out. I'm trying to tell y'all it took me. I don't know what the fuck. First off, the shit went down. Tyreek, he got a clean slate from old girl. Whatever, Mona. Whatever the fuck. The, Mona, Mona, whatever the girl name is. Okay, my predictions was right because what I predicted in the last episode came into fruition in this episode, which I feel like I'm doing good because my prediction seems to be lining up. Just perfectly, I can. It's almost like I can guesstimation of what's to come next. Like only motherfuckers will know. A few of those who know, just like I guesstimation on that Kane actually being Kane and Son. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all can tell me otherwise. I said what the fuck I said, and it will come out in the future episodes. Watch. Anyway, let's continue. So we got. I'm Dick and Harry here, Mr. Light Skin. He had some relations to the uh, old girl family that the ghost was fucking, you know, the mistress, whatever. And Tyree just said, fuck that. He gonna wipe a clean slate. He started a whole new clean slate, okay? Tyreek is one of the luckiest niggas. I don't know how he get lucky, but he do, okay? He do some fucked up shit. Yeah, this nigga get lucky, okay? He get lucky, he get himself out of situations. I will say that. Anyway, continuing. This nigga in the last episode was just talking about how he wanted to start over. If he could have a new life, he'd start over. And that's what he got. He got to start over. Mona not on his head no more. She said he can't deal no more. She said, don't breathe too hard, nigga, because she still wants your head for what you did to her daughter. What you and Brayden did when y'all took out there and a half they whole fucking team just to get her daughter. Anyway. To continue. So him and Braden back to college life, living a normal life. In the college, they seen as heroes, but to the outside world and everybody else that know what the fuck how they move, they seen another way. Okay. The streets don't know about this, okay? Because you know they just keep that they keep the shit separated. Okay. They use alias names if y'all pay attention to when they do street shit. Anyway, we're gonna continue. Okay. I'm in Braden back to college life. Living a college life. It's all taken in. Basically, they broke. They ain't got no money. They back in college. They both feel like pieces of That's shit. Braden. <laughs> Braden getting cussed out. You know, that Ponzi scheme that his uncle had going on when he threw that nigga over the bridge. <laughs> That nigga threw his uncle. He said, fuck that. Let me tell y'all how Brayden how so much relates to Tommy to me. 
Brayden is the same type of nigga Tommy is because I say Brayden love. <laughs> it seems like he love family and he want to keep that whole La Familia thing together. Okay, Tommy the same fucking way. Okay, but them niggas love they love deep. The one thing that took Tommy to snap was the love and losing love. I feel like the same thing gonna happen to Brayden. And that's going to be his breaking point when he snap. And then y'all ain't going to see Brandon no more. Y'all pretty much going to see Tommy. That's what I think. That's my predictions. All right. I feel like these they the, uh, it's him and Brandon for a reason because they trying to match up uh, Tyreek and Brandon as Ghost and Tommy. Though they can never be Ghost and Tommy, but they do have similar likes and similar ways. Okay. They master strategies. All right. Anyway, continue moving on. Yeah, so the whole school ain't some of the school ain't fucking with them, so half the school ain't fucking with them. Okay, some of them is, some of them ain't. Anyway, Tyreek hothead ass this nigga. So we gotta do something. We need to make some moves. We broke, man. We can't have no money out here. We can't be out here. I got so which I understand where the fuck he coming from, but it's like nigga, you just got a get out of jail free card, my nigga. You need to sit your ass down for a little bit, at least recuperate and think and strategize. You know wisely. Don't go about it all rushing into the situation. My bad, I have to. Don't go into it by rushing into the situation. You know. Anyone. To me, the substantial student contribution. When I say they live in a regular college life, they live in a regular college life. Now, as we skip to the Tahadas, we out of Tyreek and um, Braden World. Okay, we back to the Tahadas. And now they on a the rampage. Drew over there looking like, who boo the fool and who did it? Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I know what's going on because me, if they find out that me and Sus did what we did, we did. Which, yeah, y'all niggas. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but anyway, y'all know how Kane fucking get down. When Kane go on a hunt, this nigga go on a hunt. He hunt a motherfucker down. One thing I say about Kane, aka young Kane, what I call him the nigga. <laughs> when he do a hit or he go on a the, on the mission, he gonna come back with results, okay? That nigga don't like coming back empty handed. If he come back empty handed, he gonna give you more man. Somebody gotta get their ass beat. It is what it is. It's how the nigga roll. He one of the scariest niggas on the show. <laughs> he punked the shit out of these niggas. All right. Only nigga he really ain't too much punking is Tyreek. But as for some reason, you can see he. Uh... Anyway, they on a hunt for Monet Killer. Drew over there scared as fuck because he know once Kane find out what the fuck he did to Mama Dearest. Oh yeah, he gonna be at his head. Okay. <laughs> so they on a hunt. Kane still obsessed with Tyreek, which he is right in the situation. We cannot say the nigga is not wrong in the situation. This is the one time out the whole out of all the fucking seasons when Kane get <laughs> when Kane got it, Kane got it, Kane got it right. Okay, when he said Tyreek did it, he wasn't lying. It was him, Natasha. Okay, well Tyreek didn't know. He didn't do it technically. It was his mama. But one more, one small net put that shit together. Oh yeah, I'll help break on gonna break loose. It's gonna be it's gonna be some serious. Please, you dress like me. Talk now Monet is still hurting y'all. She out. She better. She got a get out of hell free card. So she back. Okay. Back to life. Back to reality. Back to life. Yeah, she's back. Okay. Anyway, she's back trying to get her recuperating. Her memories coming back. You know when them thoughts start coming back. You start realizing shit. She putting two and two together. She all trying to make it work, okay? Anyway, this is crazy. I'll bitch. do my best. This bitch so crazy. I don't know what to say about her. What's her name? Mona? Mona? Oh, mercy. It seems like every nigga that she have, she want to have a nigga that's under her, but the nigga got to follow orders, and if he don't follow orders, he got to go. Okay? She's the type of like, she's like a, uh, what do you call that? A black widow. Okay. Any man that she fuck with and you disobey her in any kind of way, shape, or form, off with their heads. Okay. She don't fuck around. All right. <laughs> and I say a black widow because black widows are the only spiders, if you don't know, that literally repercroak, re, pre, croak, what up? 
we recreate literally with the male you know spider and then kill him okay that's why that hence the name of black widow okay i call her as a black widow and that's what i'm gonna go with all right so be careful when you fucking with her be careful don't cross her because she will fuck you up that's how i feel about her and ain't now, nobody telling you my opinion. I've been wondering if anyway, your best. Her best right hand man, the nigga that she put on top, fucking up. She feeling some type of way. She basically getting on his ass, saying all this shit happened. You let Tyreek them get to my daughter, get close. Nigga, you ain't been doing your job for the last how long? You fucking up, you're sloppy, and all you want to get is some nigga like you're doing what you told us to. Okay. Anyway, she ain't going for it. I don't know if we're gonna get paid next month. And uh Davis. <laughs> we skipped to Davis. Davis out here me fucked up. Davis thinking he trying to thinking of a master plan. And I ain't got nothing but sweat he got that plan in his head right now, but lawyer, okay? You know Davis gotta stay legit. You know, he got he got his agency behind him. He got people working for it. It seemed like all his secretaries he fuck. <laughs> Davis is the only nigga on the show getting the most pussy. <laughs> he get more pussy than Tyreek. He get more pussy than all them niggas. Kane. All them niggas. Okay. Davis on one, but Davis is fucked up out here, okay? Not only he he's got his license suspended, he ain't out the game, but he he halfway, he neck and neck there. So he getting down to the wire, he getting down to the drawing board, he getting down to the drawing point. Well, you got to come up and strategize and think of a situation to get him back out of that situation so he can be on top, okay? And if you know Davis, he loves money, but at the same time, he respects his clients and he stands behind his clients 100% because he upholds his job, okay, to the fullest extent. Anyway, he got a new secretary. She's somewhat good. She listened to all the she, he, he basically, she, basically, he put his next up in line to run the show while he's behind scenes because he can't be and come from behind scenes because he have a suspension if y'all know anything about y'all y'all want to understand anyway let's continue for those who know no okay anyway so all right money i'm gonna go get you some blankets my name and her phony ass fake ass kid look at that fake ass okay smile. look you can't get no more fake diana you look fake Dirty Diana, no. Dirty Diana. <laughs> Dirty Diana and Drew. <laughs> the two comforts. If the killer ain't looking you in your face, I don't know what is. Okay? They're the reason why Monet got shot by Tasha. When Tasha feel that her son is in danger, y'all, what the fuck you think she gonna do? Do y'all not remember her killing old girl for Tommy? Her best friend? So what, who, who, who didn't put that together that Tasha wasn't going to be the one to run down on her? Ran down on that bitch voice. Cardi V voice. What made y'all thought that it wasn't going to be fucking Tasha? How not? <laughs> I'm just saying. How not? She's a mother. Monet's a mother. That's controlling her son. Okay. Monet well, gonna put that shit together. She ain't slow. But anyway, we'll get there when we get there. So they having a family session. They still trying to figure out who shot her. Man, uh, when I say, Kane, you on a hunch, my nigga. You right on the money, my nigga. But you not there because it really was Tyreek that, that shot her. Okay. I know that you have an aggression towards Tyreek. But you got to come to the realization that maybe it wasn't the nigga. Okay. Maybe you should move on because it's fucking up you and your relationship when you obsessed with the nigga that she used to be with, bro. It's not looking right after a, after a, a enough time. You feel me? So, <laughs> <laughs> just get the whole Tyreek shit out of your head, okay? Now, Kane, Ty, Kane, the whole, all the Tahatas, they under Mona's palm right now. When she say jump, they say how high. And Monet hate that. She hate that she can't have control. She hate that she can't even control her kids. She hate that she can't run the shit. 
So it's really pissing her off to see how her kids are and how they're treating her, basically. Like, yeah, you need to sit down. You need to <laughs> maybe you need to take some time off. They literally came at her like, yeah, you need to sit it out this round. You need to take some time off. Maybe it ain't cutting for you. Maybe this, you know how you go to a job and then they say they're going to hire you, but they don't want to hire you. And they say, well, maybe this work ain't just cut out for you. Maybe you should try something else or maybe a different position. <laughs> They basically hit up one of those. When I say, well, they ain't going for that shit, she ain't going for none of that shit. I don't know who's trying to be the next up for uh, Mona, because they all up her ass. I don't know if it's Drew, or I don't know if it's Kane, okay? I don't know if both of these niggas trying to hit, or what. But I know either one of them, or both of them niggas trying to hit, okay? <laughs> they all up her ass. And, Fucking Russians. Going and Mona on ain't like it. She ain't liking it. And she keeps stressing out. She overpowering herself. Y'all know she just getting got for recovery. She ain't even fully healed yet. She doing the same shit that Kane did when he. I mean, yeah, Kane did when he would. It got shot by Tyreek them. And went to Braden no family house and started on some other shit. Okay, it's in him. If you can't tell that that's his mama, yeah, that should have showed you. Anyway, moving on. What type of person? You know, they get the school lectures and, you know, they all voice their opinion, which I understood what it was coming from. The, 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 basically the out, the out, the whole ordeal was about victory and being successful was what I got out of it. And, um, yeah, how you take it and how you use it in the world. Okay. If I had to break it down in any kind of sense for those motherfuckers that lost on what was going on here, they was really having a deep discussion. Okay. For those who know, all the math geeks and math, okay, the motherfuckers that love to have deep convers- deep discussions and shit like that. Okay. <laughs> this is what that was about. But at the same time, it was admitting defeat. Tyreek was actually admitting defeat in this by saying, hey, I lost everything. I gave it up, but I can start over and maybe make it better. And Effie was like, no, nah, fuck that shit. I feel like if you win, then, hey, you're going to be a winner in life because that's what you got to keep. You got to keep going. Well, Effie, you fucking up because you, we going to talk about that later because I don't like how the flip floppy shit going on. And the shows are tight, but at the same time, Tyreek, you a dirty nigga too, okay? It is what it is, all right? I feel like it's something going on between them. They, they It's like they, they I feel like they're going to end up plotting against each other. That's what I'm saying. The the, the the beef between Effie and Tyreek is yet to end. I feel like it's going to get deeper. Very deeper. Because now Effie is fucking with Kane. Tyreek ain't feeling that shit. Okay. Not to mention, y'all got to remember, Diana is pregnant. And we don't know who the father is. So if there's a case that Tyreek is the fucking father of Diana, Tyreek going to stop what he's doing. Everybody going to be on his fucking back point uh, burner, including uh, Tasha. Though she can handle her own, but he's gonna be all about Diana and that baby. So yeah, I'm just hey, <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there, okay? Suffering. If it, if Trying the baby is him. So yeah, they feel they hit shit is shit shit is hitting the fan, okay? Anyway, moving on. What is this? Early suspended pending. Oh yeah, Davis got suspended. He ain't fired, y'all, but he's suspended. Like I said. And then we get to, uh, I don't know what, um, we get to this nigga again. He pops up. Now, Davis already got suspended from the bar. He already mad. He losing money. He losing clients. Shit ain't going right for him. All type of shit is going on in his world right now. Not only is he dealing with that, now he come to realize that the reason that he losing every fucking thing is because of one motherfucker that's on his ass and on his neck. And that motherfucker works for the motherfucking FBI. And if you work for the FBI, you can get anything that you want. I don't think this man is the one to fuck with. Because even if he, he's the type of nigga that even if he can't find dirt on you, he's going to place dirt on you or make dirt on you, okay? He got connections. He know people here and there. And the whole time, David's feel real, uh, figure, trying to figure out why the fuck my shit suspended but davis you was doing some shady shit the shit with your brother that went down that shit was crazy 
When I said <laughs> crazy, you better be lucky, nigga. All you got was suspended, because motherfuckers in real life, you, your ass would have been uh, disembarked forever, my nigga. You would definitely wouldn't be allowed back, okay? But teach is out. Um, for those who don't, I know. So you get not only that you got this FBI nigga. When I say he came in reading Davis, like he knew of this nigga a whole profile. It's almost like he knew the nigga for years. He was talking about his trial and all that. And he said, I got some people that was there at your meeting. Did you see the office? Did you see the people in the back? Like he was literally checking. <laughs> so basically, he was giving he was giving David the leeway. He was basically trying to say give up your clients nigga and you get your license back basically i'm the one who took your license nigga and i'm not i know what you're doing and i know who you work for and i want your clients and if you give them up to me you'll be moved up and all this extra other shit but davis being the nigga that he is y'all already know he ain't going for that okay Now, moving on. Then we get to Effie knows he asks. Now, they say those who snoop either snooze or lose. Okay? I mean, either snooze, win, or something. You know what I'm saying? But Effie snoops a lot. Okay? And Effie, you know how knows Effie is. She's smart, though. She uses her brain. So she comes to Mona with a proposition. She want more money. Because Effie trying to buy her way out of this life. Effie really wants to go to the college that she wants to go to. And move on and live her life. She tired of this game. She tired of the snake ass niggas that flip on her. Even if she being a hundred for these niggas. They ain't even her. I'm just speaking in the, t- in the reverse. Okay I'm just speaking <laughs> from Effie's standpoint. For those who fucking don't know. Okay. She tired of these niggas doing her the way she do. She ride and hold these niggas down. They still don't end up being shit. So Effie is on her own. She doing what she need to do. Okay. Y'all know Effie. She a hustler. Shit, those been fucking with shit, the, the goat shit. The regular power season saw if he is a hustler. Remember, shit, Tyreek wouldn't have shit, a lot of shit that he have either if it wasn't for that. I'm just saying, we gotta say what it, we we gotta put it where they put it. Okay. Anyway, she meets up with Mona. Exactly she make a deal. Awful. She makes a deal with Mona that she can get the Russians to partner with her. Uh, all she have to do is whatever, yeah. So Effie goes right to do that. Okay. Oh, child. <laughs> Things change. And Monet having flashbacks of her when she was younger and how she was hustling while the kids was around. Which I, I look for those who know know and understand you you have to be from uh, you have to have a background to understand where the shit come from <laughs> because look it is what it is those who don't know okay i'm not speaking shit um none know that all right mona was she was uh, monet i keep getting them mixed up monet was sick of being a house mom she was sick of having her nigga go out and not having shit and not coming back with shit and telling her that he gonna get on, he gonna get on and make, uh, you know, selling the fucking dream every day, okay? So she took shit into her own hands. She went to go get that, she went to go get that bag, all right? That was that what that flashback was about, okay? Anyway, continue. Make it cold. Effie is one tough motherfucking cook. And I feel like this just got a permanent partnership with the Russians forever for Effie. Because she approached this nigga like this. Not only did she approach the nigga alone, she approached the nigga so calm, cool, and collected. Like, yeah, I'm that. I can do this. I can do this on what you need. Which we all know Russians are professional hackers. So Buddy was telling his ass, what do I need you for? I got people I can do that. Basically, she's saying, like, a favor for a favor. You know? In a situation, she want to help his daughter win and flip the script, which people do all the time. This is giving y'all proof of how this country really works, okay? For those who know, fucking know, wake up, smell the fucking coffee. They can fuck with anything. They can f- f- fluctuate the numbers, all that shit. 
okay if you know how to do it and it's what 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 was that proposition for okay you help us you i'll help you help your daughter and you partner with mom okay everything go good so they agreed to it he had to come to us to an agreement the way he he felt even though if he went on a fucking suicide mission what's a suicide mission when you're working for a black widow you feel me because at the wrong fucking sneeze that bitch can kill you okay and she's like an assassin like well, she she don't play okay anyway yeah so they make the deal or whatever and yeah i don't even know when the fuck and i'm gonna have time to, to study we get to Brayden and Tyreek living their normal life. Still trying to figure a plan how to make some money and get some money and get back on and get in the game. Even though Mona said, don't get child ass in the game. If you get in your hand, game, I'm cutting your head off, nigga. All right. Anyway, Brayden done met him a new woman. All right. She a singer. She be performing on stage. and She's a... Uh, She's close to where his best friend, where his buddy work, all right? So Brayden already on. Okay? He's been this game, doing what he does, okay? Tommy shit. Tariq St. Patrick. Anyway, Tyreek meets Officer D. Okay? And <laughs> we're just going to say Officer Ricky in this situation. And Ricky ain't finna play with Tyreek ass. He cut Tyreek off. Tyreek plays, you know, who, who, boo, fiddle the fool. Oh, what? Hi, sir. You know, uh, he give him that huh? one piece. And he sensed that. And he let, he there to let Tyreek know, nigga, I'm going to be the one to take your ass down, nigga. Like, basically, yeah, you my op, nigga. I'm your biggest threat right now. I'm your biggest problem right now, okay? And I know everything about you, your dad, all of that. Okay. He actually disrespected the St. Patrick's name, which I feel like Tyree, that shit was so disrespectful. And Tyree probably wanted to knock his teeth out of his mouth. But you can't you know you can't do that when you uh in the eyes of an officer or somebody that's above the law, as they say. Okay. So you gotta hold composure. And you gotta play the fiddle. Son of James exactly St. Patrick, what it is. one of New York City's and my gut is rarely wrong. And he on Tyreek ass and he letting him know. Just wanted to break it to you. And he said he told him, I'm coming for your ass, nigga. No matter where you Damn right, I'm no matter where you run, I'm coming for you. And now Monet done brought her ass back to Mona's. She mad Mona took her kids. She mad she can't get in. Ain't nobody letting her in. She wondering what's going on, why this, why that. Yeah, so Monet flipped it out, okay? Right when Monet show up was the worst time because when Monet show up, she, the Russian showed up. Then you finna have a three-way shootout. Monet over there already doped up on pills in pain so many different ways. So she end up passing out and losing conscious. Effie pick her up. Effie take, Effie Effie take her to bring her home. You know, Effie was a real one for that, okay? Like was out of it. Anyway, Tyreek and um, what's the nigga name? The uh, the lawyer nigga. Okay, Tyreek and him have a conversation about the FBI. You know they got the same problem going on. That's their problem. Okay, if y'all don't y'all didn't get hints, he the reason why they <laughs> everything is going fucked up for them. Okay, he he a lot of that part. Okay. Anyway, teach is out. So we get to okay. another flashback of Monet. And this was bogus, okay? Now, Monet, you gotta be one dirty bitch to pull some shit like that on your kid. I don't care what. No, you don't do that, okay? I understand it was a safe place, but at the same time, like, come on now. Come on, like for real? Like, was it that serious? For those who saw the clip, knows what happened. Monet get pulled over, baby in the back seat. She riding with a friend, they smoking. She pulled the car down, asked the officer what's wrong. She take the gun out the gun department and put it in the baby car seat. 
the husband find out, you snap on her, go in on her. Oh, there y'all, there y'all. It's a flashback. Okay, we no, get you the real world. Stupid. That shit got Kane out That's here checking real. shit. Enough. You checking, take Kane. See, your problem is, nigga, you don't check Diana enough. You need to let her ass know. You need to coach her and school her on some shit, especially on that tough shit. Cause Diana, your ass be out here, very vulnerable. Just like that goofy ass nigga, you, that can be your baby. We don't even know if that's. Let, let me just make this statement. We don't even know if that's Tyreek baby, because it's a possibility. It could be that goofy ass weird nigga that was trying to get all them pops. <laughs> I'm just saying, cause Diana, you was messing with that nigga, okay? Anyway, to each his own. So yeah, Kane checking shit. Drew and Diana, like, what the fuck going on with y'all? Somebody hiding some shit. He fuck knows something going Kane. on. Don't know how to communicate, Kane. And basically, he's saying he 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 done with the family. He moving on. He going to uh, work for uh, Mona. Kane head over heels, and I feel like he gonna hit Mona in the future. Okay, that's just my prediction. All right. No, my, no way. That's crazy. Yeah, Kane would never. Not in a million years. I'm not so sure. Now Mona thinking Kane did it. Cause he ain't listening to all this extra other shit. Drew and fucking uh, <laughs> Drew and Dirty Diana look like fucking deers in the head. Like, all right. They scared and nervous. They just trying to make her feel better and some more shit get under her on her good side. Okay. We skipped to uh Tyreek being the son that he is, go to check up on his mama. Because the FBI, if y'all was missed it. In the last part, he also told Tyreek, yeah, your mama finna be kicked out of uh, witness protection. So, yeah, she gonna be out on the street and she gonna have all these motherfuckers coming at his head. So, that urged Tyreek to go check on his mama, as he did. And he did notice something that was off. Now, as he's speaking to his mama, he see this weird creeper looking motherfucker come up. Talk to her any kind of way, grab her hands and all type of shit. You know Tyreek ain't going for that. He don't tolerate no fucking disrespect, so he played it off, okay? At the same time, when dude came up, they played it off so smooth, like they know each other, and she was just trying to help him, okay, find something, okay? It worked as a store. So, Kane, being Kane. Wait, what's going on here? I forgot what happened. Your mother. Oh. Mona and Kane. I think they're going to end up fucking each other. They got an obsession for each other. You can see it. Okay. That's the only reason I feel like Mona is really all with the Tahala like that. I feel like Kane running that show because you see how grimy that nigga can be and how he gets shit done. Yeah. She's a fan. 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 Yeah. Anyway, Let's go. what Mona wants is Kane to take out his mama. She she she'll have all the kids working for her and do whatever the fuck she wants to. I told you a black widow does what a black widow does. Okay, uh, Mona is a black widow. And if you ain't never seen one, that's the real life definition of one. Oh, all right. Anyway, moving on. Now Effie planning on leaving. Wait, what happened on this? I think she's uh, starting to discover some shit. Uh, now, Diana done took the test. She finds out she's pregnant. Oh, dang. I just spilled the beans. Okay, Diana. Di 30 Diana took the test. Oh, find out that she's pregnant. Okay. Come yeah, she, 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 it's, it's happening. Listen. Now, Monet having a conversation with Drew. And asking him questions on what happened and drew being drew you know him he can't stand on there for a fucking bit of sense okay she basically i know you're upset with me about your father and guardo he know that monet is the reason why her dad is dead he know that monet is the reason that his lover he has so many is dead okay anyway moving on Drew so mad at her, he trying to poison her, get her out of here. He want Monet dead, okay? Y'all know how Drew is. This nigga over temperance. He temper tantrum, man. I'm surprised Drew has made it this far, okay? Because I swear for God, I thought the other brother was going to the, uh, the, <laughs> the other one was going to live out longer than Drew, okay? That was just my prediction, okay? Anyway, moving on. Um, 
Dirty Diana wasn't dirty in this one because she did stop her brother from poisoning his own mama, trying to get her out of here, though she is fucked up. But still, anyway. Tyreek car broke down. This nigga, he trying to, trying to leave from where his mama at. He done fucked up and ran up on a dude, the nigga that his mama was talking to. Beat his ass, said don't ever fucking talk to her in any kind of way like that. Broke the nigga fingers in three different places. All type of shit, okay? That's what happened in that one. Moving on, here comes Effie. She's back with the rush. She bring everything they need, paperwork and all. And from there on, the Russian leaders say, well... I don't want to work with anybody else but you. Kane didn't like that. He wasn't feeling that. And that shit kind of, he kind of took that the wrong way. Which shows that I feel like him and the Russians going to get into it. They're going to be beefing. Okay, I feel like that shit going to be happening real soon. And we cut back to I mean, Tyreek. Crazy how much I actually. Tyreek and Brayden. They out here broke. They struggling, you know. they These niggas ain't never felt no hurt like this before in a minute, okay. They damn near on one leg right now, all right. But they thinking of a master plan. And I ain't got nothing but and, and yeah, all that. Anyway. Continue. From the ground up. They basically like we get this our shit. We the one who started this shit. We the creators of this shit. This shit would be nothing without us. So we gotta get rid of we gotta get away of it out of this. And when before we do that, we gotta take everybody down. So Hollis, Mona, everybody, okay? They own it. Okay. And these motherfuckers, they determined, as y'all can see. Them two together, I feel like I would not say they I say I will say this in the future. These two together will be better than Ghost and Tommy. Because remember, they younger now. Okay, yet yet they are in college. And they still are younger than Ghost and Tommy. So I feel like future wise there could be a possibility that, yeah, it is what it is. But then they say this is the last season for this. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they have a whole nother universe or something like that in spinoff. I don't know. Fuck it. So what do we do now? Split it to the mill? I got a plan. So Tyreek got a plan, okay? Anyway. You always have an opinion. So Mona coming back to her senses, talking it out with her sister. They've been on past life and the type of mother she is and how her kids is. Cause Mona, I, at this uh, Monet, I still keep saying Mona. Monet, I, at this point, know that her kids is out to kill her. Okay, she know that something is up, and she repenting basically in her so own. Uh, Diana went to the doctor. She she had a, a pregnancy scare, and she go to the doctor just to get the real realization. Say, yeah, she's actually fucking pregnant. Okay. And she maybe don't know who the baby father is, which is very interesting. Dum, dum, dum. Now, Kane and Mona. I told y'all was something going on. Now Kane done fucked up. Uh, they trying to fuck. They they she finna damn that she threatened the nigga, like she finna hurt the damn that killed the nigga because of what his mama did. Okay. This one I say a black widow will be a black widow. Her ass a black widow if you ain't never seen one. Okay? Anyway. Which I thought this was suspicious. He thinks it's a good idea to sell automatic weapons to the same people his mother thinks want to kill him. Norma, are you sure you want... Obi, please. She asked her right-hand man to leave. While she's attempting to interrogate this nigga. That was very interesting to me. And that shows that, yeah. Kane, you might can hit you on. You better hit you on. Hit you on. You gonna be in that bitch like that. It's gonna be your empire. You gonna take over that shit. Hey, you better hit you on. Hit you on. And I think Kane finna hit him on. Hey, look. He's on me. And that was what he said after. He's Obi. Leave like she said, nigga. Basic, take your you rang, take your Jeffrey off the Fresh Princess on somewhere, Obi. Uh, should I say Toby? Okay. Dismiss that nigga with the hand too. Woo. 
Can you have this conversation over a scotch? And she offered a nigga a drink. That right there should have told you something. Can't you finna hit him up tonight and the next night after that and then the night after that and then the night after that because you know once he hit once he in the doorway. Okay, that's all it takes. For those who know, no. Real nigga stands, okay? Yeah. So yeah, and he has that feeling that she wants him. And at the same time, he want her. I told y'all. I told y'all, okay? But moving on. <laughs> Damn, how long is we in this for? Y'all gotta give me credit. We've been in this month for 40 minutes. And I don't think I left out a detail on this episode. So for those who really don't have stars, or maybe you just don't want to watch the whole shit, I understand that 40 something minutes is too long for y'all. But hey, I don't think I left out anything. Okay, anyway, moving on. Tyreek go get his motherfucking car back from 2-Bit. This shit had me on the fucking flow. When I say I was dying, y'all, I was fucking dying. And it was how the nigga did it that fucking had me crying. When the yeah, nigga flicked the nigga off and took... <laughs> he said, don't take my car. 2-Bit, <laughs> your ass should have been too gone already. Fuck you talking about? I never liked the 2-Bit any fucking way. So I was happy to see Tyreek. I know I ain't one of the only motherfuckers that never liked. Th- yeah, I'm going to say it. I didn't never like Too Big. Too Big was a, always a hating ass, strong chin ass nigga to me. I ain't even like the face that nigga made. A fake ass smirk. Chester Cheeto face ass. Anyway. To whoever pushed through that green in car for your brother. This nigga is on a ass like white on rice, okay? He catch Obi coming out. Obi? And he feel like he got him a weak link. So, you know him doing what FBI do. Take him in. Now we get to Mona. Monet. And Tyreek. Meeting up with each other. And they finna tell the beans on everything with each other. On what's going on. Now they trying to figure out who who shot Monet. And Tyreek already know who shot Monet, but Tyreek is not going to give his mama up. For those who know Tyreek, he's going to spin off any way he fucking can. Now, he know he has an advantage in that situation because Drew and Diana, they set up the whole fucking play to get her taken out. And right now, Tyreek is milking on this shit and putting it in his fucking pocket because it's an advantage that he has. Okay? But once Monet finds out, she's going to lose and I don't think she gonna think it's gonna be in her head and bred it in her head that then nobody try to kill her but her kids. Okay? So y'all have to understand that that whole uh, her finding out about Tasha thing, I don't think that's gonna happen because I think it's gonna fucking, because she already gonna know and put two and two together. Okay? That's what I'm thinking. Okay? Tommy, anyway, moving on. She gave her up about Tommy mom and what she told and all this extra shit. Me that you gave Tommy Tasha's address. Why the fuck was about Tasha? And that she's the one who set up to Tommy because Tommy was coming out of Tasha. And Monet, and that ends there. They trying to figure out there. Okay, that's where we at. Now this episode was a lot to unpack, y'all. But let me tell you something. They just might be on something. Yeah, y'all might be on to something with this season. I ain't even finna lie to you. Because there's a lot of shit going down. And I see big moves coming. Big fucking moves. Now, what we got out of this episode was... We're going to do a recap. Kane, like I said before, is fucking the Mona girl. She finna replace the other nigga with Kane. Mona want all of the... Uh, Mama to how the kids, okay? She want them all under her wingspan because she know that the motherfuckers know how to move product and do what they do, okay? Better than anybody that worked for her before. Same with Tyreek is why she don't want him dead yet. Tyreek and Brayden is thinking of a master plan trying to get themselves out of the situation uh, that they in right now. Tyreek done got his car back from 2 bit. I'm guessing him and Brayden finna get rid of their shit and make some money real quick and try to flip some shit. Anyway, that's my prediction. Anyway, what else? Uh, Tasha's okay. Um, what else? Um, uh, what's her name? Dirty Diana is pregnant. 
if you don't know who the baby dad is we had, i would say i'm like 60 percent sure that it's tyreek's the, the rest i don't know okay it could be <laughs> the rest could be it could be the other nigga all right we don't know if it's tyreek's or the, the other nigga at this point okay and the lawyer nigga he having a struggle right now and a struggling lawyer only go down that's already dirty gonna be more dirty so i'm pretty sure looking out for this nigga to do more dirty shit okay it's coming and what else the fbi nigga that's on tyreek yeah tyreek you better watch your back because he on your ass like white on rice buddy and he know people in high places and he got people watching y'all as clearly as you can see anyway and yeah i think that's it i think i covered everything so yeah y'all drop on the comments what y'all think about this one i'm your host mr master tv don't be don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe and you better be here for the next one, okay? Peace out. Let's get it. If you mess up me, yes, but I won't go. If you try to set me up, don't I don't know. A little bit of warm side. A little bit of warm side. Yeah. They ain't gonna let me in, but I won't go. Ties as as we is, they think my soul. No more side. No more side. Yeah. 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 They say because.